Ada. I haven't forgot to tell you, but I'm going to Costa Rica in like a couple days. Hey, hey, I'm gonna be gone for a week. All right. Don't act like you don't care. <clears throat> I've arranged for someone to come and hang out with you. Clean up after you. For about a week. You just gotta be nice to them. This is gonna be as daily vlog as it gets. I'm like, kind of wandering around like, okay, what's the next? How do I make this entertaining? That's you. No, you're usually, usually here for something. Today, you're just, you're just here for my day. Or maybe you're not anymore. <laughs> if that's the case, bye-bye. <laughs> Hi, Mark Gill here with Eggtastic. It's easy, just crack, mix, and microwave. I thought that was a stupid idea too, just cause, you know, you don't microwave eggs, but it's less of a mess and apparently it works fine. So we're gonna try that today, cause I'm starving. I'm, I'm so, so hungry. Try adding bacon, cheddar, and chives for this restaurant style scramble. Oh, what? Oh man, I got the shell in there. <laughs> This mug is too big, maybe. I ought to stop second guessing myself. Some bit better. Here goes nothing. I got a good amount done today in terms of shopping, in terms of cleaning, taking care of Rue taking care of myself. I'm feeling a little bit more ready to go to Costa Rica and leave all of my worries behind. Also one thing I'm trying to improve on is relaxing and not worrying about sitting down and just chilling. Okay, let's see how this egg is. Wow, in only one minute, fluffy scrambled eggs cooked to perfection. This egg was literally trying to, just trying to leave. It tastes kind of like cafeteria eggs. Have you ever had those? It needs salt. It's got a lot of pepper. See, I'm super stoked about going to Costa Rica. One, because Costa Rica, I mean, it's gorgeous down there. I'm gonna come out, look out the window and there's gonna be a monkey or two. I've never seen a monkey in real life, besides at the zoo. And if that's, it's not really real life, but you get to see them in the wild. You get to see them at the mischievous ways. They're gonna be taking your sunglasses, punching the arm. I just can't wait. But the second reason I'm really excited about Costa Rica is that I can stop spending so much money trying to go to Costa Rica. I've spent over a thousand dollars Yep, trying to get my passport expedited in time for this trip. Was it completely legal? No. Do I mind tricking the government every now and then? Not at all. They do it to me. <laughs> Blessed. Oh, Sibby boy. Going to Jacob.
of them cats. We've been all kind of stressed out lately. See, we planned this really awesome trip to Costa Rica. And trips like that, in the middle of a pandemic, get pricey. And they get pricey for all sorts of reasons. Ugh, it's so stressful. And sometimes you're just like, I don't know. Sometimes you lose sight of like why you're even going. You know, when when all of the worries and doubts and pressure of kind of spending a lot of your money. <laughs> not to be too personal about my finances, but I've had to take out of my savings for not an emergency, but a, a vacation. And that doesn't feel completely right, but that doesn't necessarily mean it's wrong. I don't want to make it sound like this Costa Rica trip is bringing me more stress than it will relaxation. I'm not measuring the trip in that sense. I knew that this was gonna be a ball of stress because like I'm losing a lot of money in this and I'm doing a lot of things that like I'm not sure I should be doing. But <laughs> why? You know? Why? <laughs> why would I think that? I mean it's a natural thought. You know, I understand. It's money is valuable and when you're like not well off, it's difficult to just willy-nilly spend it. But something I've just gotta learn is that like I can make money. I'm not saying I'm have money in my pocket constantly, but it's never stopped me from like living life. I'm talking to other people helped me realize it was like, well you did it. And I was like, yeah. And they're like, you're not broke, you're not like homeless, like you're still making money. I'm like, do it. Do you mind? Then I would mind. <laughs> hey, but... Kat, you're crying. Can I film you? <laughs> yeah. You're in distress. Perfect thumbnail. Thank you. <laughs> you're just talking about how you can't wait to just sit on the seat in oh the plane God. after all this. And I was just talking about how this whole like preparation has been stressful, not only for, for myself, yeah. I don't know if I mentioned that, but <laughs> also, you know, for everyone else. One thing I was kind of like thinking about, something that was stressing me out a lot was the fact that like I was spending so much money when I had never done that before, unless it was like an emergency. Yeah. And how I just need to like trust myself a little bit more. Obviously we live in America, it's very expensive, especially where we live, it's very expensive, but you're working hard making all of this money and then you just hold on to it mm -hmm. why why not spend it on experience greed yeah <laughs> when you're laying on your deathbed you're not going to think of like oh thank god i saved all that money you're going to be like thank god i spent that money on things that matter <laughs> That's you know? true. Yeah. Like a bougie funeral. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, please. If you find my body, burn it. 